What did I tell you about coming into my room? Sorry. What you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to get ready. Addie's coming over. Ooh, is she your girlfriend now? <laughs> well, not yet. I'm trying to get her to be. And it's the first time she's coming over, so please, don't be a pain. What do you mean? I'm never a pain. <sighs> yeah. Hey, put it down, Jackson. Can I try some? No, stop it, put it down. What are you doing? Putting some on for you. You're not supposed to spray it on directly. You're supposed to spray it into the air and then walk through it. Now I'm gonna smell too strong. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, and Addie's here. Great, I don't have time to change or shower. Thanks a lot, Jackson. Hey, what's up? What's that smell? Oh, uh, sorry about that. It's uh, cologne. Klutzo over here and spilt it all over me. You probably hate it. No, I actually really love it. It smells good. Thanks. I'm Addie, by the way. Oh, I know. Miles talks about you all the time. He says he wants to make you his girlfriend. Jackson! Sorry. <laughs> There's no reason to be sorry. I actually think it's pretty cute. Um, so what should we do? We aren't doing anything. Addie and I are hanging out alone, so please, stay out of her way. It's okay. I really don't mind if he wants to hang out with us. Really? Yeah, right. He's been annoying me all day. I can't take any more torture. Hey, go to your room. But I... I Go, now. Fine, see ya. It was nice meeting you, Jackson. Nice to meet you too. So, uh, do you wanna see my room? Sure. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> I know, kind of a big deal, right? And so <laughs> modest. <laughs> I didn't know that you played. My little brother and I grew up playing tennis. It's my favorite sport. Oh, really? Well, maybe someday I could show you a thing or two. Should have seen the match I played to win that one. It went three sets and I barely won 8-6 in a close tiebreaker. I'll never forget that day. Wow, that's amazing. This is so cute. Seems like your little brother really looks up to you. Yeah. I just wish he wasn't so annoying. How is he annoying? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Jackson! It's fine, just let him be. Hey, Jackson, turn the music down. Jackson! He turned it off. Sorry about that. Well, let's go back to my room. So, what are we talking about again? Uh, I think tennis. Oh yeah. So, uh, what's your game like? You more of a serve and volleyer, or do you hang out on the baseline? You should see my serve. I doubt you'd be able to return it. All right. Let me see your form. Okay. It's pretty good. But if you move your hips like this. Freeze! What are you doing? Get out of here! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't even think about shooting that thing or I swear. Hey! A trophy! I'm so sorry, it was an accident! You're dead meat! No, I said I was sorry! I, I... It's fine, Miles. I'm sure we can fix it. No, he's taking things too far! Honestly, it's okay. Please don't be mad at him. He's your little brother. These things happen. Yeah, well, he's a little brother that I wish I never had. 
Why would you say that? He doesn't mean it, he's just upset. Yes, I do. All he does is annoy me. You know, you know how much easier my life would be if you weren't around? I wish you would just disappear. Like Dad did. <laughs> I can't believe you. Jackson, wait. I'm sorry for what Miles said. He didn't mean it. Yes, he did. He tells me that kind of stuff all the time. Sometimes people say things when they're mad. That doesn't make them true. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. My mom's always at work. My brother doesn't want me around and my dad left. It's like I'm all alone. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your dad? He left right after I was born. My mom came home from the hospital and he was already gone. He didn't even care to meet me. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. So that's what Miles meant when he said- I, I really don't like talking about this. I'm, I'm just gonna go into my room. I can't believe you treated him like that. He snuck into my room, he completely killed the moment we had together, and then he broke my trophy. I'm sure if your brother did something like that to you, you'd do the same thing. You're right. I used to treat my brother the same way. Until last summer, everything changed. You see, just like you, I'd get so annoyed with my little brother. He'd always come into my room and would never leave me alone. The things he'd do would annoy me so much. So I'd always be yelling at him and sometimes I would say really mean things. When I found out he was going away to tennis camp for a few weeks, I couldn't have been happier. He was annoying me so much and I didn't even care to say goodbye when he left. Little did I know what would happen next. My mom got a phone call. It was the hospital. They said my dad and brother had gotten into a really bad accident. Both of us couldn't believe it. We rushed to the hospital as quickly as we could. When we got to the room, my little brother was in really bad condition. And my dad, well, my dad never made it. He passed away on impact. So you see, it took almost losing my little brother to learn to appreciate him. I'm so sorry that all happened to you, Addie, about your dad. I had no idea. Now you know why it's so hard for me to see you treat him like that. I know sometimes it might feel like you wish he was gone, but if that actually happened, that's the last thing you'd ever want. You're right. I should probably go talk to him. I'm really sorry for breaking your trophy. The truth is, I should be the one who's sorry. I should have never said any of those things to you. I didn't mean them. I promise going forward, I'm gonna be a lot nicer to you. Really? Yeah. And actually, do you know what your little brother's doing right now? Probably nothing. He usually stays at home on Saturdays. What do you think? We'll pick him up, we could play some doubles together. Be Jackson and I versus you two. That sounds like fun. You in? Heck yeah, let's go! Yeah, let's go. Hey, maybe on the way home we can pick up some tools to fix up that trophy of yours. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Hi, Jasmine.
Hi, Eve. What did I say about knocking before you come in? So oh, yeah, she I'm just sorry. irritates me so much. I just think she lives up to you and wants to be like you. Rosa! You used my new palette? Why do you have to ruin everything? You know, sometimes I wish I didn't even have a little sister.